Hi, Tyler at Inner Fidelity here. Today we're going to listen to some of the world's best headphones and do a listening comparison. Uh, for my YouTube viewers, you'll find the, the uh, link to the article on this subject uh, underneath the video. And um, I really can't explain everything that happened today in a short video, but there you'll be able to read uh, all the conclusions that I made. However, uh, for the video here, I'm going to give you a brief tour of uh, all the equipment used in this test. <clears throat> um, what you see on the table here uh, is about $37,000 worth of headphone listening equipment. And uh, I'm going to give you a brief tour of it uh, from back to front. <clears throat> uh, here is an Audio Power Industries uh, line conditioner. This uh, cleans up the AC uh, so that we get nice, uh, happy, and uh, well-organized electrons going everywhere. <clears throat> uh, on the dynamic headphone side, these are the um, normal or essentially normal headphones that are driven with a, a regular headphone amplifier. Um, we have something that's not a regular headphone amplifier at all. This is the Apex Pinnacle. Uh, headphone amplifier and it runs about ten thousand dollars and that's the power supply in back and the amplifier in front <clears throat> has a really uh, cool feature here in that uh, this knob controls the uh, type of uh, uh, output impedance of the amplifier uh, for both low impedance and high impedance uh, dynamic headphones and so this amp is really uh, very capable of driving a wide variety of headphones very very well. Um, <clears throat> in the middle we have the uh, Wadia 861 SE. This is also about a ten thousand dollar CD player and on this side we have the Headamp Blue Hawaii uh, electrostatic headphone amplifier. This is about a $5,000 headphone amplifier and behind it is its power supply. Uh, the dynamic cans or uh, uh, the both dynamic and planar magnetic headphones used for the uh, experiment today were the Hi-Fi Man HE6 headphones and these are about $1,200. The Hi-Fi Man HE uh, 500 planar magnetic headphones. These are about uh, $850. The Sennheiser uh, HD 800s. Um, these are a dynamic headphone but use a ring radiator rather than a uh, normal domed diaphragm driver. And then the Odyssey LCD2 planar magnetic headphones. And these are about uh, close to close to a thousand dollars. And then the uh, two Stax headphones. This is the uh, Stax SR007, uh, a late Mark I edition. And then the brand new Stax uh, SR009 electrostatic headphones, and they are absolutely fabulous. Uh, headphones. Uh, of course right next to it I got my computer and that's where I made all my notes. <clears throat> um, as I said, um, this is a really rather complicated test. I can tell you that the Stax SR009 were absolutely spectacular and really took the field hands down and uh, I'm very pleased that uh, Stax came out with these cans. They're going to make a lot of, or a good number of folks, very, very happy. Again, if you click the link below the uh, YouTube video, you'll be able to read the entire article and all the conclusions. And uh, until next time, I'll see you around.